Welcome to Abby's Twitch stream. Thank you, RFT. A sound alert right off the bat. Feels good. <clears throat> Welcome indeed. Anyway, we'll be getting started soon. Um, you know me. Gonna eat my hot dog. See you soon. Hello, everybody. Hope we're all having a good day. Hope you have nice, beautiful weather. It's always pleasant. Sometimes we'll pop into Canada Corner on the official Discord, and people are always talking about how it's like gonna snow or something, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, nightmare. Anyway, good luck to all y'all Canadians and people of the North out there. I guess also, you know, Australians. Probably not watching this, not a good time for them, but. Hello, Howling Techie. Having the best day, hell yeah. Um, I'm going to wear bright pink lipstick. I'm not gonna promise it'll look good, but it's what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear, it's a Trixie Mattel lipstick I bought on Impulse, and I think she later changed the color to make it a little less like, um, what's the word? Like childish, I think. <laughs> but I'm going to commit to it anyway. I do think it's fun. Just go a little wild every so often. I know it's Thursday, but I'm not streaming tomorrow, so it's like a Friday. I also got to say, I'm using an NYX uh, lip liner. This thing is working way better than my other NYX ones. It's so creamy. Dang. Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on. Waterproof extreme color lip liner. I don't know why this one feels so much different than my other lip liners from them, which feel like chalky as fuck. Wait, Jeff is here? Is Jeff here? Somebody said Jeff Backlar is here. I don't see them. Anyway. No, Jeff is not here. <laughs> okay, cool. 
I was like, I'd be surprised if Jeff was coming in for a midday sim stream, but who knows? He is a huge fan of mine, so. Ready for the long weekend, hell yeah. Okay, I will say now that this lip liner is on, a little sticky. Came on smooth, but I'm feeling it now, you know? We will see how this lipstick choice looks on camera. It'll be a fun reveal for all of y'all. We'll see how you like it. It's not Friday, but it's Friday for me. Hello. <laughs> uh, don't mean to brag, but I love a long weekend, you know? I do, I do. Anyway, ooh, I've been uh, watching a lot more French stuff. One thing that does kind of stink is it's really difficult. Like whenever you, in the States at least, purchase a digital French movie. Presumably this is the same for Blu-rays and shit too, but I'm not sure. Um, the subtitles are like embedded in it, the English subtitles. So like you can't really turn on French subtitles and you can't turn off the English subtitles, which is a bummer when I'm trying to watch it in French and not have the, not cheat, you know what I mean? Summer is an eternal weekend. Hell yeah, dude. Hard-coded sub stuff. I agree. I also don't know. I don't trust that if I buy like a regional thing, it won't screw me over. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. This is me setting stuff down on my table. Don't mind me. Anyway, take my vacation next week. Nice. Fun. All right, shall we get started? I guess no reason to wait any longer. Let me open up my game. Why don't I? All right. These French artist Gillian Hills, ever since one of her songs was in Queen's Gambit. I'll have to check it out because I'm looking for more music. Gillian or Gillian? I never know. Sick. Thank you. Oh, cool. She looks very classically French. I was expecting someone more modern, but that's cool. Hardcore subs is no bueno. Anyway, shall we get started? Hello, my name is Abby Russell and welcome to my Twitch stream. I'm wearing the cowboy hat again today because you know what? I like it. I like it and you don't get a cowboy hat sponsored by not wearing cowboy hats. You know what I mean? Hello, hello, hello. People are saying love the lipstick. At least one person is, so I'm gonna assume big hit for everyone. Lipstick game is fierce. There it is. Uh, there's always that pause where I'm like, Kathy, are you gonna? Thank you so much. People like the lipstick. Again, it's Trixie Mattel's. It's like a real, it feels like a toy lipstick. It's pretty creamy. Um, and then I had the NYX lip liner under it. And I keep it in a uh, tin <laughs> for tea. Anyway. Um, before we get started, we have to do our traditional, oh, hold on. Okay, I think you can hear me now, good. Sorry, unplug my microphone. I'm like an idiot. Anyway, where were we? Oh, I was getting my drink. All right, get ready for the drink check. So today we have our water. We were running out of lemon juice, so I added some lime as well. So it's gonna be a lemon lime. It's Sprite, basically.
Dr. Debitage. I feel like sometimes when you first start wearing lipstick, it's like, whoa, who's that? And it's also a thing, you gotta like, I watched this video online that talked about like, not always lining the whole lip, cause like sometimes it makes your lips look frowny, which I know will happen to me anyway. I think it's just a matter of like doing it, and then it'll look normal. So what I gotta say, I like lipstick. Anyway, we have our lemon lime water. <sighs> Pretty good. It's a subtle flavor. I'd say the lime is a little more overpowering. I also have a coffee, not with lavender. I did vanilla, and then I did a packet of sugar, and then I did cinnamon. And it tastes a little like a Christmas candle, but it's still nice. Um, I think if I were to do it again, I would either do like, I would do way less sugar. There's too much sugar in this. It's a little sweet. Um, and then I got this, which I thought was fun, which is... This looks like a tall boy of some sort, but it is a sparkling water straight from the Alps. It's called Liquid Death. Murder Your Thirst. I found it at the 7-Eleven. Um, they do help that we donate 10% of every profits from every can. Sold to help plastic pollution. Look, I just like a seltzer. It seems unflavored. What I also like about it is it does feel... You know how sometimes the branding of things for men especially can be like, fellas... Is it gay to hydrate? You know what I mean? Like, that's what this feels like. Like, you want a shelter, but you want to be a man about it. Anyway, let's crack her open. Sparkling water. Pretty good, though. Might get more of these, because I like a good big tall can of sparkling water. And it looks like I'm just drinking. Cheers. <clears throat> oh, while I'm here doing the drink check. Dr. Pepper, they had pushed so hard for dudes. Oh, I do vaguely remember that. Oh, that makes sense. Andy Boy's Fresh Produce says, as I understand, it's meant for like bars and people who want to feel like drinking without actually drinking. That's actually great. Because if I was standing in a bar with this, people wouldn't question. I am all for that stuff. Um, Thank you, Geese This is Official Spice Girls from the Official Spice Girls website. I think they still probably sell them. They also sell them on Amazon, but I, you know, I like going from, from the source, but it takes longer because it's shipping from the UK. Anyway, I do think it's great. Yeah, I think it's makes, if it makes men comfortable doing what they want to do, also great. I think it's a bigger issue with toxic masculinity, but I do think it's great the idea that like, you can look like you're drinking if you're not drinking, because I know so many people who are alcoholics who want to not feel like an alien in like social events and stuff like this really helps. So I'm all for that. Wow. Wayne Brady drank one of those on Mark Rebles Rebles stream last weekend. So basically Wayne Brady. Cool. Anyway, it is good. I mean, it's a seltzer. I can't really go wrong. All right. Shall we hop into the game? So last time we played, we were renovating or I guess making that stream was so good I don't know what it is how is it it's good I mean it's just it's literally unflavored sparkling water which is my favorite kind of sparkling water but it's good yeah can't complain um okay it was in Wendenburg I believe I'm so excited for that new pack oh it honestly looks so good on the map too like this looks like a legit thing sick okay so we're going to go back to building this pack, um, which I'm very excited for. <sighs> yeah. So, so, yeah, people are also, also talking about, like, men getting purses or, like, shoulder bags. I will say, though, men have good pockets. Ugh, jealous of that. Um, yeah, so this is what we have so far of the museum. Oh, this is not so centered, which is kind of loosely inspired by, um, why is it so, it's so weird. Anyway, it's kind of loosely inspired by, I don't know why I took this down. Oh, the stairs are there. By the, um, Isabella Gardner Museum in Boston, um, especially with the courtyard. But this is the outside of it which I really quite like. I don't remember the architectural style we originally did. I think I have the thing somewhere. 
Um, sorry, I'm looking at all my links. I have so many just like random ass Chrome things open. Oops. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Is that a pair of jeans that could fit a whole Nintendo Switch in the front pocket? Oh my God. That's insane. Can't even fit a phone in women's pants. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, you know what I need to... Well, I don't think there's a way for me to just paint the inside of that, which is too bad, but that's okay. This is the outside of it, which I quite like, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I was worried it was just going to look like a big box, and it kind of does, but I feel like it has an ex enough texture that it feels like we still uh, made an attempt at something. You know what I mean? I think what I might do, now that I'm looking at this, I want to do this. Boom. Um, well, maybe boom. Actually, no, I will do it. No, I'll, I'll bump it in. It's maybe going to be kind of a weird thing. It got rid of my pillars. That's okay. Easy fix. Um, oh, what the fuck did that do? Okay, no, we're okay. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I'll still add some stairs. I just think this is gonna look a little nicer. Um. Okay. <sighs> I, th I think I'm gonna bump this out one. It's probably gonna take the pillar with me. I will fix it, it's okay. Um. Mm, it's weird because like I feel like it looks a little weird with how the pillars are tucked in but I prefer I like I wanted to break up the square shape of this building is the thing you know <sighs> you just found your phone in the fridge hell yeah <laughs> um okay anyway I'll figure this out I mean we're gonna have to do all the landscaping and stuff out here anyway um but okay, I guess that doesn't look so bad. I just want to give it a little texture out here. Anyway, so this is the outside of the building. So we have kind of done the bare bones stuff for the inside, but only a few places actually have furnishing. We just started furnishing stuff. So the courtyard is done. I think the courtyard is pretty cool. You can see it from the top. You can see it through here, how we did the windows and everything. I really quite like it. Um, at least these are stained glass. You kind of can't tell, oopsies, that it's goofed up, but whatever. Pretend like it's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I'm, like, tempted to put more lights up here, but I don't know. That feels a little weird. Okay. But anyway, this is the courtyard. I will show it off for everyone. Ooh. Hey, you. Pika Blue, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, I'm really very happy with how this turned out. Let me get a different time of day. There we go. It's a little, little more light. Um, I'm just trying to show it off without the camera going berserk. But we have the fountain. I'm very happy with how this fountain turned out. Because as y'all remember, doing these stairs was a true nightmare. And it looked goofy as hell. But I think... Whoever's idea it was to have this be like the back of the fountain was really smart because this looks good and I'm very, very happy and relieved that it looks good. I love these plants. I know I put them in myself, but I think they turned out really well because I kind of try to do like this is a bunch of potted plants. Um, this is this is a lot of like these white, like kind of, I don't know, flowery things. That's not really a great explanation. We have like a more tropical plant section and then this section, which is sort of a lot of flowers. Um, but I think it looks really nice. And I like this fountain. It's like half the new courtyard kit and half like the romantic garden pack. Um, but I think it looks really good. And I'm so happy with it. Uh, oh, seeing it again, I'm like, wow, look what we did. <laughs> what a relief. Oh, what a relief. Okay. Anyway, but now we are in the process. So I have gone through... As you can see, I've gone through and I've like kind of laid out the rooms for us. And then we can go down. 
Here's more rooms. And I did the stairs. They're just on this one side going up this kind of corner here, but I think that works. Um, and I just really kind of put in the carpeting and the lighting and the bathrooms in this one. And now I have to actually add the art. This, the small balcony is perfect. Narrow balcony. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, this is... Well, the balcony for these is like not... So how I did it, these are all windows. There aren't any doors to here. I might put a door maybe on either side, but I kind of like it just the windows. You sort of look through, but kind of get that balcony feel. Because if you look at, here, let me show you. Let's see if I have it open still. Mm, I don't think so. I do have this open though. Do you guys want to see a Tracy Chapman shirt I really want to buy? Um, here's a Tracy Chapman shirt I found on eBay that's like clearly, like someone drew on this, right? And they colored it in which I think is just wild. Any place is better. I'm pretty sure it's a Tracy Chapman lyric, but on the back is like, I want my hug to make you tremble, which I don't think is a Tracy Chapman lyric. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that's anywhere in her, any of her songs. <laughs> anyway, I'm like obsessed with this shirt. I've been looking at it for a long time. They made a bunch of them. So clearly they're trying to sell them. Anyway, I'm very tempted to buy this like colored in shirt. It's bizarre. Anyway, <laughs> um, let me try to find... That picture, Gardner Museum. I want to show you what it looks like, this courtyard. Um, to show you how the windows are, because, okay, here we go. Well, that's a bad picture. It's too small. Um, I know, Fast Car is such a good song. It is sad, but in a good way, I think. It does have full-on balconies, I guess. But you can see here, yeah, I guess these kind of are full balconies. Anyway, I kind of like having a window onto a balcony. I think it's fun. <sighs> Who is Tracy Chapman? Oh my gosh. Keys peep, educate yourself. I assume, assuming you're very young, or at least younger. Oh, how dare. Anyway, oh, I put these here just as like, I'm gonna put this furniture in eventually. Anyway, we started to sort of loosely furnish this place. Um, we've added in lights, we've done the wallpaper, etc. Uh, we have this nice long hallway. I like this kind of open air too. I think it's neat. Um, yeah. And these are how the bath. These the bathrooms are just, you know, their bathrooms with one, no, two toddler potties. Which is good. It, you can kind of see through the doors. Um, but anyway, I am young. It's, you know what? It's okay to be young. And you can always learn who Tracy Chapman is at any time. Excellent musician. Um... I remember once I tweeted up Fiona Apple and then this girl who follows me who was like 16 and I follow her too. She was like, who's Fiona Apple? And I was like, oh, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Anyway, um, let's go back to decorating this. So I had this kind of as a placeholder, but honestly, I don't hate it in here. Okay, let me just do the old move objects on. Okay. Um, yeah, this is also the weird chalet gardens, which I think is perfect for this. Oh, we haven't done this yet. I feel like we need... Hmm. I think we need... Homey? No. Natural light is probably good. I know it's, like, supposed to help with, like, certain skills, which they'll never be using, but peace and quiet... Um, maybe sunny aspect. I don't know. I feel like these kind of places sometimes seem very dark, so I kind of don't really want to make it sunny aspect. I might just leave it as that and leave it at that. Maybe I'll do spooky ghosts. There's random ghosts here. I love that. Okay, great. Good. You know Fiona Apple. Anyway. Oh my gosh. A lot of people don't know who Tracy Chapman is, which, you know what, is fair enough. I, I, like, don't ever want to blame someone for not knowing something, because you can't know it till you know it, right? I don't know what people were exposed to or weren't exposed to, but sometimes it hurts. But you know what? Now you got a great musician you can listen to. Anyway, um, Fast Car, classic, very famous. I think talking about a revolution, also really good. I'm not really saying anything new here. Anyway, let's get, we need to get the reception going. I also, yeah, I, I'm I'm happy with this choice. We went with, like, the sort of dingy walls, which I kind of like. Because it makes this place feel, like, really old. Sick. I, I'm into it. Okay. Let me... Let's get a computer 
for check-ins. I feel like it's got to be like an old ass, shitty ass computer. Let's do this one. Maybe, um, is there like a gray color? Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's good. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Is this a hotel? No, it is not a hotel. It's like a museum. So this is in the lot that was originally here in Windenburg, which is, the, the lot was sort of like a museum. It's like, it's called the Von Haunt Estate, which I'll probably keep. It's a chalet gardens, which I can't change because it's a special venue. But it was basically like, sort of like a museum, but like you're touring like an old house or manor. Um, it was basically a bunch of like roped off rooms that you could look at. But now I'm making it into more of a traditional museum with like shit on the walls. Uh, but I will probably have like traditional rooms as well. How do you explain a floppy disk to an 18 year old the other day? Wow. I will say, I feel like I was, I, I definitely know what floppy disks are. I use them so rarely. I don't, I feel like there was maybe once or twice I used a floppy disk, but like not really. Um, so I guess this is just the reception. We'll definitely have to put wall art up. I'm trying to think what else could be in here. It's also like when I think about these faces, why is that clipping? I hate that. Oh, that's so annoying. Simstein, please fix. Please, please no more of this. Let's pretend we don't see. Um, anyway. Because um, like sometimes these places do just have checking out a quiet place too this weekend. I did not like A Quiet Place 1, so no. <laughs> Sorry. I really did not like the first one. I saw it in theaters as, like, I saw it, in like, in previews before it was actually out because I went with a friend who, like, writes about movies. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But, oh, gosh. Is my nose running? No, I think it's just wet for my seltzer. Anyway. But I remember seeing it, and we were both like, no one's going to like this. And then people fucking went crazy for it. I still can't get over it. Um, I do want to look at, sorry, I know we're jumping around a little bit. Um, I want to look at the, the museum inside of it. Cause I feel like there's a very specific feel to this kind of museum and we're not doing, this is much bigger than the one we're making, but see, there's like a lot of old ass furniture and shit on the walls as well. You know, like I want a good mix of, oh, this is so beautiful. Of like, oh, I see how they did. They have like a window. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway. But like you see these like a bunch of chairs. It's like, don't sit here. This is These are like 300 year old chairs, you know. But I kind of want that feel. There's also like these rooms at the Met that have similar stuff. I probably won't put this many chairs around. But do they just keep the empty frames of the things that were stolen in here? I guess they do. Which is kind of cool. Um... Anyway, oh, this is just really cool to look at. Um, okay. Anyway, this I'm just getting a feel as we start putting furniture down. Um, maybe we'll do some of this fancier wallpaper upstairs. Because I feel like palaces and castles and, like, old buildings, like manors, always have, like, the yellow room, the blue room, you know? Um, nice. <laughs> oh, it's some kind of dancing exhibit, I guess. Sure. Anyway, anyway, cursed furniture. Exactly. Exactly. Inside of the museum is dark and medieval looking. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of exactly what I would expect. So I want to put up, let's get some decorations. I think what I'm going to start doing, oh, hell yeah, this is going to go somewhere. We'll put this up here. Oh, I love that. Yes. Um, this one is actually totally fine. Um, oh, I love this little dog thing. Okay. Definitely want some of these. Feel like... Let's do... I wish I could... Like, I really... I know it's a product of having, like, every pack. I wish they had subsections even more. Like, I wish in paintings and posters, I could be, like, paintings that look old or like framed paintings or whatever but it's just like here's every single painting and poster in the game and there are quite frankly a million billion of them okay i'm just gonna start setting stuff in here oopsies just so we can get a feel for like what we've got 
Because I want... Oh, hell yeah, that's going in here. I want all the, like, oldest shit, you know? I feel like... Oh, maybe we'll do this in the front section. I want this to feel a little like, this is the building we're in. Here are the original blueprints kind of deal. You know what I mean? Um, Even though it's, like... That actually kind of looks like it. It's not exactly like it, but it actually looks kind of a lot like it. That's actually amazing. <laughs> um, should I make these smaller? I don't think I will. I'm just going to do one on each side. Okay. Do you guys like when I sing along? This is what I do when I'm playing alone, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I know. I wish the tags... I wish there were tags. I wish there were search words. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not that. Hmm. I feel like we can definitely use those somewhere. Don't want anything too modern feeling. Hmm. I kind of hate this. The frame is right, but the art itself is awful. Okay, yeah, this for sure. Maybe I'll put this in here. Um, same with this. Like, it's very base game. Oh, bitch! Are you kidding me? That's so perfect. How many of these do we have? Oh, we have a million of them. Oh hell, yes, my dude. Okay, we're just getting these in like everyday color. That's what's going to line this hallway. <laughs> Although, probably not. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to space this out between shit. Because if you look at these... Okay, these are not great examples. Like, if you look at these, a lot of them are going to have paintings lined up with, like, tapestries kind of in between. Wow, look at this. Like, wow, that's interesting. Um, I'm trying to find a good example. And I can't, so whatever. But you get the feel. You get the feel. Game audio is muted? Is it just that second? Because every time I click off, it's going to mute. But I hear the game audio now. If y'all don't hear it, dang it, y'all don't hear it. Okay. All right, well, the only option is for me to end the stream and start it again. So see you soon.